Hello, Possum Stromer Smith here in Alphacraft at my base. And I have a little surprise. Well, probably not a surprise, because if you've been watching Frilly Off's video, you know all about this. It's a new factory. Look, look, look. It's a flying machine sugarcane factory. How fabulous is that? <laughs> Frill has built this for Dibs and me because we have a project going on that requires lots of paper. You'll find out about that in a few days' time. <laughs> Next video will be what Dibs and I are up to. But oh, look what Frill made us. And I'm actually really pleased when he said, can I build it somewhere that people are going to be because it needs to be loaded it needs to have somebody AFKing or someone working. I'm so glad that I said, oh yeah, stick it out the back of the Workers Institute because look at it, it's perfect. <laughs> and it does make this a narrow little alley, which is what I always wanted. I wanted the back of it to be a little alley. Perfect. Perfect. So, um, I think today, actually, I'll go to bed and then we'll talk about it. So, what I think we'll do today is I think we will integrate this factory into our base. Hopefully, Dibs doesn't mind. Um, now, Frill said it gets very dark in there if we put a lid in, if we put a lid on this. So I might have to think about that. There were factories in late Victorian times that had, and early Edwardian that had um, glass roofs. So I'm thinking we might go for something like that. Now the other thing is, if I come round here. I'm going to have to start shifting um, the cows, the sheep, the llamas. Hello, llamas. Um. Oh, no, there's enough sheep. And the chorus fruit, because we have got to start putting our... Oh, no, they're cows. I thought they were pillagers for a minute. Sorry. We've got to start putting our town in, because... Oh, you guys came through. You guys came through so much. I, I may as well pick up stuff while I'm talking to you. I have over an A4 page of suggestions of what shops we can have for storing all my stuff. They are fantastic. I've got to um, sort through them properly because oh, there's things there I hadn't even thought of. But there's also um, sometimes a couple of people have come up with completely different ideas. What am I looking for here? Oh, that won't be enough. Okay, we may have to go clay gathering. But no, um, in a few instances, I've had a couple of people come up with really good ideas for the same thing, but the ideas are different. So I've got to sort of um, polish granite. I've got to work out which one to do or can I um, sort of work them in together or something so there's a little bit of thinking oh there's always a little bit of thinking isn't there but I think what we get started on today is integrating that factory and moving those makeshift farms So let's start with, oh, plenty of granite. Have I got, yeah, you shouldn't be in there. All right, so we'll start to put some things together and I'll have a look at late Victorian glass roofed factories and we will see what we can come up with. But in the meantime, I'm going to go on a very boring um, clay hunting expedition. And I'm back 
I've had a bit of a think, I've done a bit of research, I've made a little bit of a change here. I've taken this hill back a fair bit. <laughs> uh, more of it may still go, although I quite like it. Uh, might take might take it down a little bit, but anyway, I've taken it back a bit. Oh, it's definitely they're going to have to come back a bit more, or we can do this. I think instead we do this. So we make that the door. Yeah, that's better. So, excuse me while I... No, I shove the dirt back. That's better. Ugh. So, what I'm going to do... Oh, they'll go. When it starts moving again, they'll go. See, there they go. He's right about it, kicking the sugar cane everywhere. Look at that. I love watching this thing. Although occasionally you end up with the stray bit out here. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Um, I hope it's alright for me to remove these. I think they must have just been steps to go up. See, now eventually I'm going to replace the ends here with brick so they match those, but the sides I'm going to keep as stone brick. Alright, let's get this done. The corners are going to be polished granite, like those corners. This face is going to be brick, apart from the furnaces and the obsidian. We might do something to cover that, I don't know. So this corner has to also be uh, it needs one more on top. Better. And the other corners will be the same. There goes lag clear. That's going to be stone brick. So let me just work out markings. One, two, three, four, four. One there. All right, five in at each end, eight in the middle. That'll do. So. Okay, that's that's so so. Actually, I'm wondering if we should make it polished granite and then have brick wall. That could be interesting. We'll just try that on one and we'll see what we think. actually think that's okay. I think that's what we'll do. We'll go down to the ground, obviously. Yeah. And we'll do the same here and here. And I'm going to... I watched what Frill did. I'm going to talk to him about moving the collection system over to that side, if that's possible. All right, that's what I initially had planned. It's all coming down. It's awful. Right, better get to work. All right, that's better. The other option is I could also do a sawtooth roof. That might be the way to go, actually. I think that's what we'll do. We 
I'm going to do a sawtooth roof. Okay, I think I've worked out where the sawtooths need to go. That one will be slightly bigger. Unless I've miscounted. One, two, five, one, two, three, four. That's the one that'll be slightly bigger. Hopefully that won't look too weird. I think that's going to be wrong. Yep. That's better. And here I go again. I want, I want, I want. I want glass slabs. I've said it. <laughs> No, that's not working either. <sighs> not unless I make the building another four blocks wider, which I can't do. Or won't do. Or I make it three blocks narrower, which I don't want to do. That might be it. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, oh, it's driving me crazy. I'm still not sure about that. I'm not sure it's right. What we might do though is we've got to remember to leave that empty. Um, we might run the iron bars across. Right, I'm starting to put in the iron supports for the roof. I'm not 100% certain about this. I may well get it all done and then say yuck and rip it all out. But we'll do it. We'll see how it looks. It certainly looks industrial. It's just a matter of whether I like it at all. Right, I know that looks really weird. We'll see how it looks at the end. Probably weirder. <laughs> okay, let's have a look here. Um, it does look very factory-like. So that's okay. And we'll pull the rest of these pillars up to here and the brick pillars as well. Glass next. Then we can really see what's going on. All right, so um, probably starting at the top is going to be easier. I know this means it's got a double glass roof, but I really don't want to muck around with that one down there. It's quite happy where it is. And these will have, when I replace them with brick, they'll have slabs on them. So we may as well put slabs on now. Oh, I didn't think the iron bars would join to the glass. Why do they do that? And now of course it occurs to me I probably should have had half as many and had them very gradual. That might look better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, three nines are twenty-seven. The roof's coming out. I've actually come up with a better idea. That triple roof. Yes, that'll give me the nice 
glass and iron profile inside. Oh, I want to pick up those. Okay, I think that is the solution, but we'll do it in brick and we'll put the glass in. Yeah, that's what we are going to do. There it is, it's not quite finished. We've got to put um, some extra slabs there, some on the other side. I have to get some more glass, but to do that, I have to get some more sand. <laughs> and um, I think, oh, I wanna pick up that. I think I wanna get up inside there and put some more iron bars, but I haven't just run out of sand, I've run out of time. <laughs> um, I'm recording this after it was due out. So in the interest of getting you guys something to actually watch, yeah, I've definitely got to put more iron in there. Um, I'm going to call it now. I have to put some flooring in here. I've got to put the chest in and I've got to talk to Frill about shifting it over. But we have more or less the factory. I've got, as you saw in the time lapse, I've got a fake door. I have a real door. It's supposed to be one of those big heavy sliding doors, but it'll just be permanently open. Um, I'll have to make sure it's well lit so we don't have unwelcome visitors. And I put, as you saw, I put one in on the other side. I'm not going to run around. But um, that's our factory. I'm quite happy with it. Let's see if we can get up and have a better look. Probably not quite high enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see how incomplete the roof is. Definitely high enough. Um, I'm going to do some more sand mining. And I'm going to get the glass finished. I'm going to get the iron finished. And I'll be able to show you, not next time, because that's pre-recorded, because that's dibs and me doing what this is for. But the time after that, I can show you this finished. But there we are. <laughs> Much toing and froing. The factory is on the way to being done, at least. The design is done. Yay! So there we are. It's pretty good. And 
you know what I'm going to say and I can't crouch because if I do I'll do that which is weird <laughs> if you've liked this hit the like subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell select all turn notifications on go check out all the other offers and I'll see you next time bye